Hello everyone. This time I have another collaboration series for you and this is part 1 of it. The person I made this series with is your local chaos, who started making videos just 2 months after me. Although he makes awesome videos he is in my opinion very underrated. I recommend this channel all those Kami Jirao shippers out there, because your local chaos loves that ship and mainly makes content about it. Anyways before I start with the story I want to say thank you to my collaborator for the nice teamwork. Writing with him was a pleasure to me. Now enough talk. Let's start. Tsukishima has always been the type of person who shows little interest in anything. Neither does he show his emotions often. The boy keeps his cool, almost every time. It almost seems like he doesn't care about everything. But he also has a hidden side, which he only shows in front of his boyfriend. His lover is able to break the hard shell and unlock the warm and kind inside of the young student. The two boys have been together since a year now, but one day something strange happened. After classes. A green haired boy started running towards Tsukishima. Hey honey. Why didn't you wait for me? I told you not to call me that when we're in school. Without saying anything else he went to the changing room to prepare for the training. What's up with him this time? Maybe he just has a bad day. Yamaguchi decided to let it be and walked straight to where his boyfriend was. Hello guys. Hey yams. Hello. After everyone was ready they started playing. Kei seemed a bit more balanced and not that grumpy anymore. Volleyball has been his passion since he started playing. He truly enjoys playing it and he shows that too. The sport is also one of the many things that Tsuki and Tadashi have in common. After training. Yamaguchi walks up to the blonde boy. Hey. Wanna come over to my place? Nah. I'm busy. Busy with what? None of your business. So the green haired boy walked home alone, wondering why his boyfriend was like that. Weird. He is just like when we weren't together yet, he thought. And he was right. Tsukishima acted like he didn't care at all anymore. It's been going like that for a week now and Yam started worrying about Kelly. He felt pain every time he saw him grumpy like that and he was certain that something must have happened. Tadashi decided to ask him about it, but the problem was that every time he had done that before it went like this. Yamaguchi said what was on his mind and Tsukishima told him there was nothing to worry about. But whether he ignored or denied it, his boyfriend never got the answer he expected. That is why he chose to text him. In private chat between Yam's green heart and salt shaker, salt emoji. Hey honey. What's up with you? You've been acting strange for some time now and I want to know what's wrong. As I said before there is nothing to know. I'm just fine. Why do you worry so much about nothing? You were not yourself this week. Now stop lying and open up to me. You know you can tell me anything. I am here for you. Please let me know what's wrong. I am sure I can help you. It's nothing. Now please stop asking. I'll tell you if there is something to talk about. Salt shaker. Salt energy is a flying. The blonde boy looked a last time at his boyfriend's message before he put his phone away and closed his eyes. Imagining what feelings Yamaguchi might have right now. Confused, sad, a bit angry, that's what he felt for sure. I'm sorry, babe, but I can't tell you yet. Meanwhile in the green haired boy's room. He was laying on his bed reading his boyfriend's messages over and over again. Trying to find even the slightest hint to the answer he searched for. What happened and why won't he tell me? That's what he was asking himself the whole time. Yamaguchi really wanted that Tsukishima opens up to him, but he didn't have any clue how to do that. After hours of laying in the bed, thinking of anything that could help the blonde boy, he finally got an idea. He decided to go to his house right away. The worst what could happen was that he wouldn't let him in, so he thought he'd give it a try. When he arrived there his hands were slightly shaking and his biggest fear crossed his mind. To make sure he was at home, Yams looked through the window. But he'd soon regret that move. He saw his boyfriend standing in the living room next to another girl. Who is she and why is she here? As he took a look at the girl, he saw that she had beautiful long hair in a ponytail. Kelly talked to her and he even smiled a bit. After some time the two of them hugged and Tsukishima leaned forward to give her a kiss on the cheek. 
In that moment tears began rolling down his cheeks and he realized why the blonde boy had been so rude to him. He cheated on me. How could he? After one year. Yamaguchi ran away crying, while Kei showed the blonde girl to the door. Then he saw Tadashi running away. Yams? Babe, wait. You cheater.